Hello everybody, welcome on the channel. Today we are going to solve the password issue that sometimes happened and sometimes happens even when it's not your fault. It really happened to me because I had this same issue with those BMSs. Uh, I remember my passwords, but seems like sometimes those BMSs don't remember their password. And to fix it, it is very simple what we need to do. As you can see, you need to do it on the computer. You need to connect your BMS. It is recommended through the software from the JK Monitor and it is very simple what you need to do. First of all, you need to go about. Theoretically, you can do it on your mobile phone too. What you need is your serial number. There is a page, there was a mirror, very lovely guy. He already fixed some kind of web page and we are going to look at it just right now. This web page, this link, it will be in the comment section below. So you can click on it and you will get directly here. As you can see the page and the GK BMS is, uh, they have some kind of cooldown. Our cooldown, the code is changing somehow with some algorithm or something. On the top here, you can also find the code for the force updating when you really want to maybe change the BIOS or something, go to older version or whatever case you have, uh, you can use that code. You don't really need to speak with JK support. And exactly for the password, it is also very simple. Here you can write your serial number. In my case, I will have to watch it one more time. So 31, 21, 34, 31, 21, 34, there was 60 and something more, 60, 148, 148. And you see the first eight digit are the same and the last is changing according to your serial number. You can copy, then you go to the monitoring and we can go maybe to the setting. You can go, you can go verify password and when is your password not working, then you will simply put this one, you make the copy, you make the paste and voila, we are there. Huh? Funny. So you can use this password and then you can modify your password. You put it there all once the same password from the page directly here. And then you can use your password like you wish, whatever you want, you can fill it up. So we will change the password. It will be, I guess, okay. And that's it. That's really it. You don't need to do more. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next content. Bye bye.